be TMI guys, but my butthole ain't built for Mexico jail. Ah! There's no rhyme or reason for when to stop and when not to stop. It's just kind of like, I don't think a stop over here would be good. And there's a lot of two-stroke cars out here in Mexico. Now we're really just in the Mexico with it. Buenos dias amigos. That means good morning friends. And we are in beautiful Cabo, Mexico. Because if you look up here, you can see the ocean too. Pretty cool. But yeah, we're just mobbing around Mexico. This is my first time riding in Mexico. First time bringing the bike out. Pretty cool. There will be quite a lack of wheelies because even though you could probably bribe the police and I have quite a bit of money on me to bribe the police, I have a hundred in my wallet, a hundred in one sock, and two hundred in the other sock just in case. I really got to get technical with it. So bribe the police probably would work, but if it doesn't work, I end up in Mexican jail. And apparently their judicial system isn't the most uh, fair or fast. And there's nothing I can do, so I'll be stuck in Mexican jail. And I don't really want to be stuck in Mexican jail, so we'll be obeying all the laws and being a responsible citizen. Also, they got these crazy speed bumps out here in Mexico. Or if you're in a dirt bike, speed jumps. It is also kind of a lie. I have rode in Mexico before I rode the other day with Gentry, but of course the GoPro decided not to pick up any audio. So here are some interesting clips from the video that I'll voice over because there are a couple of cool things. So first, this one was wild. We're just brapping along Mexico. The motorcycles are always lane splitting here. So like, brap, 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 brap. And then homie, boom, opens the door on me. Try to take me out. That was scary. But that was the first event that happened in Mexico with the Mexican drivers. And they are crazy out here, I tell y'all. And this is the bird tramp on the highway. You just gotta get on and go. Yeet! And the Mexican drivers out here are wild too. So you always head on a swivel. I'm not even listening to music. There's no such thing as just cruising down the highway. You always got somebody flying up next to you, changing lanes, doing something. And you're like, what the hell? Today I'm going to take you kind of on the same adventure I went on last time, where we go into downtown Cabo, kind of give you all the lay of the land, and then we'll start venturing out and going on some adventures. Oh, yo, KTM. That's the first KTM I've seen down here. Everybody rides the like 125 China bikes for like Uber Eats. You'll see, I'll show you all in a second, whenever I see one. But KTMs are big money down here. Like the U-Haul six days, big flexing. And they don't even know what U-Haul is, so it doesn't even look like a rental. You got the orange triple six days, you know about the flex. So one thing, I don't know if lane splitting is legal here or not, but every motorcycle does it. And as y'all saw, a car opened their door on me for lane splitting. So now I go extra slow lane filtering because I don't want a car to open their door on me and actually hit me. Especially if I'm going fast, that'd be unfun. Hopefully, hopefully lane splitting is legal. I really don't want to go to Mexico jail. All right, this might be TMI guys, but my butthole ain't built for Mexico jail. All right, so now we're in downtown Cabo right here. It's kind of like America. They got Domino's, but then they got a bunch of other stuff too. It's like a mixture of third world and America kind of. It's interesting. Oh yeah, here's one of the bikes that they'd be riding these around. This is probably doing Uber Eats or something. A little 125 air-cooled. Hell yeah. Fun fact, you could actually buy those bikes at Walmart. A Vento, V-N-T-O. That's pretty sick. I don't know if he'd be dropping it back. He don't look like the drop back type. Oh yeah, got another way you can't really see, but they got this military riding around with some giant uh, machine guns. Oh dang, they got the Mexican police out here. Those are the people I don't want to mess with. Oh, it's an American going to the back talking to him. Interesting. Yeah, that's not what we're trying to do. That's why I'm responsible, obeying the laws. Like, maybe if we go out in the middle of nowhere, I'll throw a couple up, but in here, no. Even though I would love to be shredding these combo streets. Another thing you gotta watch out for is I don't really do stop signs. You just gotta kinda ride. Like, I don't know if that's a stop or not, but just kinda keep an eye out and ride aggressive. At least we're not pedaling in this heat. And carrying people up a hill? That dude's calves must be on fleek. It's like, here they don't have a stop sign, but the Mexican stop is sometimes they just don't stop. So, like, anytime there's a cross intersection, I'll always slow down. Like, yeah, that dude just did the Mexican stop. Oh, he's whipping. He's gone with the wind. This person's going slow. I don't know. Then, like, here they got all the cops out here. They're just hanging out with ARs and stuff. 
Here's the military police, bro, just strapped up. He got a grenade launcher on that thing, guys. I'm not even kidding. That was straight Call of Duty. Bro had the grenade launcher. You know the one where you aim up and you go, boop. Well, thanks for not shooting me with a grenade. Don't tell the Mexican police my bike doesn't have a mirror. And then like here, I don't know what this is, but you got somebody running across the street you got to watch for. You really got to be vigilant out here. See, so yeah, we're at the marina now, and if I wanted to, I could just jet ski my bike straight into the water. There's the water. That's cool. But since I don't have any way of fixing this bike, and it's probably frowned upon, and like I said, no Mexican jail, we're not riding into the marina today. Or probably anytime. Riding the U.S. is going to be super easy after riding through here because there's like no lanes either too everybody just kind of goes wherever and then you also got people just whipping quads down the street oh shoot they're rolling out deep look at that I should probably try and get away from here I did not think they'd be rolling out when I did my u-turn And they're all strapped up. Also, they ride around with their lights on all the time. So I was told if they're pulling you over, it'll be with a siren probably. Then there's like kind of a lane, kind of not. Like right here, you never know. And like, is this bus going to come and try and take me out? No, we're good. All right, cool. Oh yeah, the light flashes green. I don't know if y'all saw that. But the traffic lights, instead of going straight to yellow, they flash green. Then they go yellow, then they go red, which is pretty cool, honestly. It's like a warning for your yellow. And then this right here is the mall. And the mall was apparently built by a cartel. And then they did a hit inside the mall, like took somebody out with a uh, car bomb. So it should be safe as long as you're not a cartel member. That's what I was told. And I don't think I've joined a cartel, so I'm good there. Plus, I think a motorcycle bomb would be messy. Like, I'd have arms and legs and my head just flying everywhere. The car, it's all at least contained inside the car for the car bomb. Motorcycle bomb, that's messy. I don't think they'd want to clean that up. But car bomb's easy. Just get the tow truck, they're gone. Then, yeah, people just be whipping side-by-sides around here all the time. Like, yeah, they have a stop sign. We don't, but everybody goes. Right, I'm just going with the bus. The bus seems like a good person to go with across here very chaotic so shout out to all the uber eats drivers who've been bringing us food because they'd be risking their lives for pennies there's another touristy spot that we went and got lunch at the other day it's pretty cool i'll show y'all we went and got lunch over here it's pretty cool like you eat good and it's right on the ocean grab lunch and a couple drinks like you can't beat that the vibes are high What kind of license plate is this? A piece of paper freaking taped to your back with a signature? Oh yeah, at the uh, there's a little pharmacy right there. You can buy Xanax here, no prescription. You can get barred out, no prescription. You can get whatever you want, no prescription. So I might just become a bartard. Paul so barred. Like, you know, they take Xanax as barred out, barred. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of sand in the middle of the street you gotta watch out for. Supermotos are not ideal for that. Yeah, they got Flex Rail, Viagra, Ibuprofen. They even got Claritin D. You don't need it to get over the counter. You can just get it. So Mexican pharmacy is pretty wild. Then, like, this is another wild stop sign. Like, I don't even know what's happening. I'm just going whenever I see I'm not getting hit by a car. So yeah, up here, this is where that person opened their door on me, which I found very rude. Yo, what the hell? They got a Hellcat out here in Mexico? Ain't no way. Ain't no way at the car dealership. They got an M4 competition and a Hellcat. I wonder how much the Hellcat is. That thing's got to be a lot of money out here because they have crazy import tax. So everything's like twice as expensive to like one and a half times as expensive. That's freaking sick. I gotta send this to Gentry. 
Oh yeah, I filled up with gas yesterday. I didn't show y'all how you fill up with gas. It's pretty interesting here. It's kind of like Jersey vibes. You can't pump it yourself. You go, Yeno, con premium. That's what I learned from Gentry. That means full. Like, Yeno is full. Con premium means with premium. Unless you want to put 87 in your bike, but I don't think I'd trust the Mexican premium, let alone the 87 out here. So that's kind of downtown. We'll go explore out into, like, I don't know, Midtown? So yeah, I guess we'll pop on into this street and see what's happening. So you gotta pay attention. The one way ends here, and all I have to tell you is just that little sign that says don't go that way. Like, I'm scanning for traffic four times as much as I normally do, and I normally scan for traffic and get them out, but it'd be crazy out here. And then you gotta scan for one-way signs too, like which way the cars are parked. Here you gotta slow down, make sure nobody's coming, takes you out. There's a whole vibe out here. I'm like Lil Uzi Vert though. I don't know, it's only my third day out here, whatever he said. Yeah. It's only my third day out here, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the cops pull me over, I'm playing that clip. Like, is this guy go or I go? I think I go. Yeah, I don't know. Speed jump. But yeah, guys, here's their Uber Eats, which is pretty wild, just driving around all day in these Mexican streets, which are terrorizing, honestly, but just delivering food. Like here, we got an Alto, so we stop, but it's not really a stop because it's Mexico. You just kind of yield and merge in. Then I guess we stop here. I, I, there's no rhyme or reason for when to stop and when not to stop. It's just kind of like, oh, I think a stop over here would be good. And eh, no, I don't want to stop here. And like here, I'll lane split up to the front with my Uber Eats homie. I don't know what kind of food he's got or what kind of food he's getting. I'll hop in with him since we're bike life AF. You know, they got Mexican street tacos. They also have Mexican street jumps. No cars, no cops, please. Whee! Okay, I think we made that one clean. Nobody saw. And we just slide on through here, I guess, yeah. Don't open your door on me, please. Muchas gracias. Para no abrir el puerta. That means thank you for not opening the door. And here we just light her up. Oh, yo, what the hell? They got just punching bags just out here? Hold on. So let me practice like smacking somebody's mirror off. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I go, what the? Mirror gone. Get a little bike life boxing in. Yeah, ain't nobody want the smoke. I show them, I think. I hope. That's right, guys. Don't rob me for my bike. I just showed y'all. They don't want to catch these hands. Might not be able to bring guns into Mexico, but I brought two weapons. They're my hands for anybody, any Mexican police watching. I don't want to go to Mexican jail. It's my hands, and they're not actual weapons. I probably get my ass beat. But I guess we'll slide up this street. God, this is like such a nice street to cut up, but no Mexican jail. Now we're really just in the Mexico with it. Unpaved streets. I think that's how you know you're in Mexico. Oh, yeah, guys, the Suzuki Jimmys. These are super co cool cars. They're like a mini Bronco. Isn't that cool? 4x4 four four off road. Bro, just working on the car. At least my skin tone's kind of dark, so I. Oh, that dog scared me. So I semi blend in, right? Oh, no way, bro. They got a Can Am trike. That's sick. I want one of those so bad. And then, like, there's no warning that there's a cross street. You just gotta pay attention. I'm like, do I stop or does cross traffic stop? I'm gonna let that old lady go. And then I'm gonna venture out. You just never know with the Mexican streets.
Ain't no bikes that got the bark down here. They're all air cooled. This is water cooled fall fitty. They got all the bark. Oh, oh. oh yeah, guys. Like this red car right here. You see all the smoke? There's a lot of two stroke cars out here in Mexico. And they didn't start out as two stroke cars. They just uh, became two stroke cars. And then you got like just a brand new Range Rover out here. That's probably like $150,000 just chilling out here. So I don't quite understand everything over here, but we're, we're learning. We're gonna be cultured AF. Oh, yo, what is this? Look at that thing, that thing's sick. I wonder how much I want for the Dynamo. A handbrake little cart? I could road trip that thing no problem compared to a 110. All right, so this just goes into the dead end. Well, I guess we'll end this video by seeing what's at the top of sketchy Mexican dirt road. Hopefully this doesn't end my video ending career. Oh, yo, it's a little plane. Oh, there's a bumpy road. Oh, yeah, sketchy Mexican dirt road, here we go. I wonder where the sketchy Mexican dirt road goes. Well, I got the washboard. You tell where it gets soft. I should have got my suspension tuned to go around to Mexico and have them loosen it up back to Enduro, not to Supermoto stuff, because this road is not very forgiving on my butt. Oh, here's the washboard. I don't know if y'all can hear it, like... Y'all can hear that for sure. The dust is getting crazy. And we'll go down this way and see what's up. Whoa, 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 my god, we almost crashed. Dang, this looks just like Dallas. I think I found a dump. Oh my god, brakes do not work on this at all. But I guess somebody, people be dumping out here in Mexico too. Look at that cool ass cactus. Got the concrete dump. The mattress dump. As long as this isn't a Mexican body dumping site, I'm fine. Or any race body dumping side. I mean, Mexican as in like this being Mexico. God, I wish I brought some dirt tires. We Mexican dirt mobbing. Well, guys, it appears we made it to the end of Sketchy Dirt Road, which is cool. The other part is I have no idea where I am. So I'm going. Oh, they got Circle K here. No way, I'm gonna stop at Circle K. Oh my God, guys, this beautiful downhill. I could throw a mean no-hander. Get zooming and throw a no-hander, guys. Quit playing. I'd rather just not throw a no-hander instead of telling the uh, Mexican people in jail to quit playing with my butthole. Go, 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 go. Crap it. Well, guys, we're going to end this video at Circle K. I hope you enjoyed the first ride in Mexico. If you did, please drop a like. See if I can find some shade to park in. Here's some shade. Whew. And here's my most recent video. Here's a video you think you should like. And subscribe down here.